YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Redline, bringing you guys another video. Wanted to talk about the two new Archer Commanders that just got released. Good old Naboo, because I can't say his name fully, and Cyrus the Great. Two new Archer Commanders that just got released. Kind of want to give you guys my opinion on these two Commanders, what pairings I think they'll be good with, and if I'll be getting these two new Commanders. So, yeah, let's get to it. So there's been a lot of talks about these two new commanders being the new meta, the new Attila Takeda, the, the counter for Zenobia. So um, even though these commanders just came out, I always say for myself is that there's always a chance that the description could be wrong. They're good on paper, but when it comes to performance, they don't do what they're supposed to do. So for me, I even though I hear all these talks and I am excited for the new commanders, I always want to wait for testing to happen or real fi real fighting to happen to really say, okay, these commanders are the new meta. But I still think it's okay for me to give an opinion on these commanders and I, what I think the pairing should be. And based on what I see now, would it be something um, for me to get? The great thing for me, uh, for being in a kingdom I'm in now, which is 401, is that I'm, I'm not a, a much newer kingdom. Uh, I'm not an older kingdom. I'm right in the middle. So... I, I even though I won't be able to get the commanders uh, when they first come out, like all the older kingdoms get the pre-releases, right? They get the limited edition new shoes, right? They get them first, and I get the general releases that come out, you know, three months later. And to be honest, I probably won't see these commanders in four hundred one until next year, March, maybe. Again, I'm just throwing that out there, but um, hopefully there'll be enough testing, a lot of you know videos out there about these commanders in action for me to say, okay. These are the guys I want, but let's get let's get into it. Let's see let's see what these commanders are about. So we're gonna start with Naboo, good old Naboo, because I can't say his name um, right at all. Um, so his first skill deals direct damage to up to five targets in a forward-facing shape area. So something similar to Sun Tzu, damage dealt to each target is reduced by fifteen percent for each additional target. Okay, so something very similar to YSG's first skill. So that's something that we're not, um, we're not, this is not, not new for us. The second one is Archer units led by his commander gain 30% defense, um, increased defense, and 15% increased march speed. If you go to Edward, I think he has something similar to his one of his skills. And I think it's the third skill. Uh, it's fourth skill, maybe? Yeah, so while on the map, Archer units led by his commander gain 30% increased health and 30% increased smart speed. So technically, if you compare apple to apples, I like this skill better because I prefer health over defense, but that's just my opinion. And then I think Edward's four skill, when the army led by his commander has 70% or more units remaining, increase attack of archers by 40% and decreases defense by 10%. Okay, um, there's a couple things that Edward here has, but I mean... The chances of Edward having 70% or more units remaining, I mean, if he's getting swarmed down, which everyone swarms him down anyway, this four skill is good for a short time, unless you continue to um, to, uh, to reinforce it. But um, I still think his second skill, I in my opinion, based on what I'm reading here, um, is better because I like health better. But still, defense is still a great thing to have. Uh, when this commander leads a rally attack, okay, so he'll be a rally commander. Counterattack damage is increased by 30%. Ooh, some anti-swarm technology. I like that. And incoming attacks have a 10% chance to deal direct damage to the attacker. So if I'm getting swarmed, there's a chance that I'm going to inflict additional damage to people swarming me. And I'm also going to reduce their march speed by 30% for 3 seconds. Okay, so there's a cooldown, which I think cooldowns are, because this skill kind of skill kind of seems like OP. Um, so I think it's it's really good to have. Um, a cooldown for this specifically. I also think this commander could be really good also if this sec this part of the skill applies to something like the mid game of Ark of Osiris, where if you're you're getting targeted, you're dealing direct damage to the attackers if you're getting swarmed, and then you reduce your march speed by 30%. And I think also if you think of his first skill, this AOE might be really good for the middle also. Um, so yeah, th th that, that third skill is really nice. I like it. Um, and then his four skill troops led by this commander deal 15% increased damage and each normal attack has a 10% chance to reduce the targets rage by a hundred. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. So if you're rallying something, oh man, this, I think this skill is really good to 
reduce the person's rage every five seconds by a hundred. Guys, this is this is a big deal. I like it. I liked it. it. Sucks that it's a mighty governor commander though. Huh? It's gonna be tough. And then with the expertise, um, his AOE doesn't change. Um, T chart at the same time deals additional damage. Okay, so you're adding additional damage to the current target by five hundred. Okay, so this guy is, it looks like a really good rally commander. Just what I'm reading on on paper. I think a, from a good pairing perspective, I think Ramses might be really good and YSG. So for Ramses, his first skill you're doing additional, so you're also adding more damage to it by a damage factor of hundred. And oh, and reducing the defense by thirty percent while also inflicting a heal immune effect. I think these two commanders can really um, sync very well together. Um, and then also while on the map, he also adds forty percent increased attack. So he's adding defense, and then Ramsey is going to add forty percent attack on top of that. Uh, when this troops level commander consists of only archers to take. So Naboo's second skill, I think the second or fourth skill, does increased um counter attack right by 40 percent um but then also on top of that if you pair him with ramses you get 30 percent less skill damage taken and then you have a 10 percent chance to gain 40 percent attack this i think this combination might be really good um and then his four skill and and you get a heal as well so ramses gives you a heal he does a heal immune and he also does a debuff with a 40% decrease and then adds additional stats. I think this combination might be really well um, for him, for Naboo, with probably Naboo being primary? I mean, I'm pretty sure, again, there's been no testing, but I think um, these two might sync very well. And also, you can also do YSG because of YSG's increased um, skill damage as well as his AoE. So you have double AoE for open field as well as rallying. Uh, but I really think that... Um, Naboo and Ramses might be a good combination um, to see um, for this commander when they come out. Yeah, I'm excited. Now we got our boy Cyrus, Cyrus the Great. Now, he, looks, he looks pretty cool. Um, so this guy's a Wheel of Fortune commander. So these are commanders are much easier to get in my opinion because all you need to do is spin the wheel three times. If you max spin the wheel 184 times each time, you could probably get about maybe in 5-5 five, five, Three, maybe, if you're lucky. Some people might be able to get five by five, but it's much easier than getting my, uh, a Mighty Governor Commander because you're not committing as much speed ups and resources. But let's go into him real quick. So he deals direct damage to the current target of a 1400 and causes him to take 20% uh, increased additional damage. Oh, they're both doing additional damage, Naboo and Cyrus. Oh, they. Okay, so far I think they might be a good combination as well. Uh, Archer units led by this commander gain. 50% increased march speed and 30% archer attack. Okay. When troops led by this commander consists only of archers, their normal attack gains a 10% chance to deal additional damage over time for 3 seconds. Damage factor of 250. While the damage over time is in effect, the target deals 20% reduced skill damage. Oh, cool. Cool. So basically, whoever's in garrison um, will issue 20% less. Oh, actually, sorry, 40% reduced skill damage. With a uh, happening every once in five seconds, okay? Wow. When attacked on the map, troops led by this commander have a 10% chance to deal damage over time in a circular area of effect. This thing, this thing has AoE too, with a damage factor of 300, and it happens every five seconds. Man, these guys have double AoE. They, dude, I think Naboo and Cyrus might be a good combination. Well, I still think Ramses will be go, but go, that will still be good for both these commanders. Um, and then go to the last skill. After using the active skill, archery limits led by this commander gain 20% increased attack and 20% increased defense for 3 seconds. And gain an extra 50 rage per second. Okay, so I think Cyrus might be um, better as a primary commander um, based on his skills. I, I, again, it has. I have to test to see which ones are um, who better, better primary because both archer versatility and skill and then he's a conquering tree. So, okay. So... I think Cyrus might be the better um, primary commander with the Naboo, or I think Cyrus and Ramses will be really good. And I, I think I'm talking specifically against like garrisons. I think YG still be a good pair for both of them um, for these new two commanders. 
But the one thing I do want to say is that I know Nibu, they talked about additional damage to each one. Yeah, increase the damage, right? Um, he had increased damage and then and deals additional damage, right? So it's increased damage and additional damage. And then Cyrus also does the additional damage within his skills. I think from a, from a counter to that, William, William... William has a skill that makes them not inflict additional damage. If I, if I recall. Oh, yeah, here we go. Attack troops' extra skill damage from buffs cannot take effect. So if I was doing a counter rally on a Cyrus or Naboo rally using Genghis Khan, William, or Saladin, Genghis Khan, whatever it is, right? Um, and you can use William to... Um, cancel out that additional damage. So I think this might be a very good counter to that, um, um, specific to counter rally. So that's something that you definitely need to consider um, when um, doing these commanders. So yeah, so my opinion, these two commanders are really good. I think they may be game changers uh, when it comes to rallies. Um, I got to see it though, because now today people are swarming the rallies or... Um, uh, rallying Batilla Takeda, counter rallying him. So you got to really see those tests, how they do, especially against Nobi. I'm really excited to see how that goes. Um, yeah, man, I'm really excited. I will be going for Cyrus 100% for sure. Again, it might be next year, um, but I'm really excited to see what that looks like. The thing that sucks now is that I haven't really been investing in any archer equipment. So I guess I have time to kind of get my gear up to par. And is it just me, but how come all my other gears, they crit? They quit in my infantry stuff, they crit. Uh, but none of my archer stuff do. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's a sign or something. So hope I got to get this gear up. Got to start getting the VIP shop equipment um, up to par um, to get these commanders. So yeah, these are my opinions on them. So my final thoughts, guys, is that Cyrus and Naboo... I feel like we'll be are very very good commanders. Um, I think Ramses would be a good pair with them as well as YSG uh, for these two new commanders. I will definitely be getting them. Um, they appear to be good for the open field. They appear to be good for rallies, um, and they might be. I think they'll be great commanders for Ark of Osiris. Uh, I, from a garrison standpoint, I don't think they'll be that good, but I definitely recommend that you look into these commanders. Uh, for me specifically, I have time to wait to um, spin the wheel for these commanders or compete for these commanders. So hopefully the earlier kingdoms that will get them on this first batch will be able to do some tests. Hopefully see them in action in KBK or in a regular Ark of Osiris match or LL whenever that comes uh, for me to really invest in these commanders. So again, in my opinion, currently what I'm reading now, they're great. But we have seen in the past that commanders... Our, their descriptions say one thing, but Lily goes, oh, just kidding, you know, hey, here's some sculptures, here's 30 gems, my bad, here you go. Um, there was a mistake in our part with the description, or there's a bug on the four scale, so, um, you know, wait to see if that, if you're like me in the Middle Kingdom, um, and kind of see if that changes anything. For the newer kingdom, uh, for the older kingdom, thank you so much for getting these commanders first and letting us know how they go. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, if you guys have any other opinions on what other commander uh, pairings for these two commanders, I am all I'm all ears. Again, I'm not going to get these commanders until like next year. So it will be good to have a discussion and see what potential um, pairings there are for these commanders. You guys have a good one. Take it easy.